Hi. Hi. I forgot my other bag. All right. I'm very sorry about the surreal but nice comment. Disaster. That's OK. I thought the apricot and honey thing was the real low point. Inside her shell. Sweet dreams. Uh, Do you think you could, um, <laughs> would you mind trying that again? Okay, so we're not going to make a bigger deal out of this than it already is. No, we're not. It's not like we're never going to speak or email or... No set rules. None. So now I'm just going to kiss you for the millionth time and say be seeing you. I've been left in the system. Who knows how I would have turned out? That could be me. Maybe that should have been me. Hey, no. You are nothing like him. <laughs> you were given a life with advantages, yes. But look what you made of it. You're a man of honor. And you treat people well. You care. No one could ever say that about a man like Hyde, no matter who raised him. I love you. I offer you my hand, my heart. Jane, I ask you to pass through life at my side. You are my equal and my likeness. Will you marry me? Are you mocking me? Do you doubt me? Entirely. Your bride is Miss Ingram. Miss Ingram. She is the machine without feelings. It's you, you rare unearthly thing. Poor and obscure as you are. Please accept me as your husband. I must have you for my own. You wish me to be your wife? I swear it. You love me? I do. Then Sai will marry you. Jane. Jane. Edward. 
I'm going back to you. Fairfax Rochester with nothing to say. You're altogether a human being, Jane. I conscientiously believe so. Well, I don't want to presume that I'm about to have the best night of my life, but... If I am, I don't want to do it to Robert Goulet. I like you. You do? A lot. If ever I would leave you, how could it be in springtime? Knowing how it's spring, I'm bewitched by you so. Is this smart? I think we left smart six weeks ago. No, we've never actually met. Actually, we have. Several times. Oh, have we? You gate crashed my birthday party, called me Julie, and spilled red wine down my top. Ouch. Well, I'm sorry about that. No, not at all. You were delightful. No, was I? No. No, you weren't. <laughs> Look, uh, if you're not Julie, then... I'm Emma. Emma. Emma Morley. Emma Morley. Oh, listen, I'll, I'll walk you on. Anyone can talk. Mm. 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 Just sometimes action's what's needed. Emma! Emma! Wait! 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 Look, I... I need your phone number. A number? Mm. Right, of course. Look, I, I'm so sorry about all of that. You know, I, I wasn't expecting them until after we... Well, you know. This is me in Edinburgh. Right. Uh, my parents' number. And uh, their address, just in case. <laughs> right. Oh, Dad's got a fax machine at work. Just, just a phone number is fine. Oh, thank you. I've got to go. I know. But we will see each other again. I know we will. Goodbye, Dex. Goodbye.